Hi, right, welcome back to Grit Gym. I'm Adam Reese, and today we're going to go over 100, 100 rep challenges. Uh, this is something that's becoming much, much more popular here and in, uh, in recent time. And uh, the question that I would have around um, 100 rep challenges and if they're appropriate for the person or not is based on the assessment of the person, obviously. But let's say they're healthy, generally healthy, and all this kind of stuff, and we're taking some assumptions. Um, what, the question I would have is, what are you trying to accomplish by doing a 100 rep challenge? Uh, and the question I was presented with is, is that good for you? Well, it depends on the person. It depends on the situation. Um, but ultimately, like, what are you trying to accomplish? Because with training, you're just trying to create an adaptation. You're doing X to create an adaptation so that you're better at Y. Um, so when it comes to a 100 rep challenge, you know, what are we trying to get out of it? Um, what I find is that technique is usually an issue. Uh, I rarely find a person that has uh, good technique on a push-up day one. I mean, it's 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 extremely rare. Like nobody does it. it just doesn't happen. Uh, you might as well just assume that no one does. No one moves properly. Uh, the the chances of you having good movement patterns is like are up there with the chances of getting struck by lightning while watching this video. Um, it's just extraordinarily rare. Um, so with that being said, if we call poor movement patterns on some level dysfunctional, then you do 100 reps of that dysfunctional pattern. Are you giving more power to the dysfunction or are you giving more power to a good movement pattern? Now, if you give more power to the good movement pattern, it's more likely to keep on happening more and more and more. If you give more power to the dysfunctional movement pattern, it's going to make that stronger. So the adaptation becomes it has became uh, a situation where the dysfunction is actually stronger than the good movement pattern, so it's harder to get out of that dysfunctional pattern. So actually doing 100 of a dysfunctional pattern is actually worse than doing nothing. Um, that is, that, that's my take on the 100 rep challenge. Uh, the question presented to me was, uh, on some level, doesn't doing 100 reps eventually get you better at that thing? And it will get you better at doing that thing in a dysfunctional way, uh, which in the long run isn't going to help us at all. So, yes, it depends. I would much rather see, I don't think anybody's going to do 100 reps of something with just picture perfect strict technique I think it's a it's a little silly to ask someone to do that um, but as far as does it help you in the long run it helps that dysfunctional pattern it does there's no doubt about that and it but it does not help a proper movement pattern which nobody has so um, not nobody but without training without some work um, you probably haven't had a proper movement pattern since you were eight years old um, it's just something that our bodies kind of lose as we go along. It doesn't mean that anything's wrong with you. It doesn't mean anything's super negative. It just means that there's something that you could improve upon. And uh, so what do I think of the 100 rep challenges? I think they're a little silly. And I think that you're we're kind of asking for people to accrue some injuries along the way. Not maybe from that one event, but uh, we're definitely helping them along that that uh, that journey to injury if we keep doing that. That's something that we you're not going to find anything like that at, uh, at Grit Gym, that's for sure. Um, and I think it's a little bit irresponsible on, I think it's very irresponsible actually on the professional for having people do that. Now, what that professional does with their own body and with their own training and whatever their goals are, that is completely up to them. That's totally fine. I doesn't, you know, it's, it's their body, it's their life. Uh, however, when you start uh, telling other people to do that kind of stuff and they are trusting you, um, then then I got a little bit of an issue with that. I got a lot of an issue with that. Actually, I think most people should probably have a little lot of an issue with that. Uh, but as far as 100 rep challenges and the question, will that eventually make uh, you better at, that th at, at it? Yes, it'll make you better at it in a dysfunctional way because nobody moves very well. Um, and it'll give more power to the dysfunction, less power to the movement, uh, to the proper good proper movement pattern, um, which isn't the same for everybody. I'm not saying everybody's the same in that regard, but everybody does have some level of uh, mobility, stability, patterning kind of thing. Um, 
and that is the much more healthy, safer, better way to go. And I think that we're all going to be better off um, taking the responsibility of our own body and uh, and thinking things through before we go ahead and add more dysfunction to something like that. So that's my take on 100 rep challenges. I think they're a little silly.